Okay, time to take her ult and make a play. What is up beautiful people, it's Illidan here and welcome back to my channel playing more again here in ranked again. <laughs> As I've already mentioned, it's one of my go-to mages right now. She's really back in the meta, she's strong as fuck and she's also very very hard to play which I enjoy a lot. Starting with a Susano, no familiar names so on either of the team. Typical speed start, hopefully I help him clear a little bit because his unclear sucks. Did not miss any. Mi oh, we missed one minion, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna out clear him quite well. So we get immediately invade that red buff. Yeah, that one minion delayed me. Still gonna risk it. Our dueling getting the first blood, which is amazing. Against Chernobyl as well. But they playing aggressive with the Naja. Still level 1, however. There's Raw, we got the red buff. Feels good. He's still level 1, so I guess he missed the speed buff. Gonna take these as well. Susanna's being smart, falling back a little bit, not allowing to be exploded. And dueling is killing again. I'm gonna clear this, go straight for our red now. Ah, unfortunately, missed that. Thank you. Cancel that. Thank you. Looks like dual lane is doing alright, so we're not looking for a gank. This Ra should be dead. He's way out of position. I missed that and still got him alright. Gotta clear the way, check on the right mids, and probably back for tier 2 boots. Uh, let me think. Okay, red, right mid is not here, we're out of mana, we get back. We have no sustain whatsoever. Gonna share that speed buff. Rai is not pushing hard enough, so we missed just 3 minions, which is very good for us. Gonna push this down and look for left mids, or maybe invade the red. Probably invading red if Kama did not show up. Yeah, let's risk it again. He went right jungle. He have to choose between me and the wave, and he chose the wave, which is correct. But we get the red for free here. I might be in trouble. Never mind. Taking these again, we're pretty good at a farm right now. Kama is actually invading my lane. Trying to push me out. Looks like Susanna is taking the experience of a lane, we're just gonna take the red. We're still ahead of Rob by a significant amount anyway. Susan now have an ult. He's way more scary right now. He waited on that pull for way too long, allowing Ra to use his beast this time. I hit level 6, I guess I'll take the ult, even though I don't really need it. But now we have a good enough clear, I think. I think I'll actually go for the one. Don't feel like there's any necessity to ult right now. I'm gonna go for this Ra. I'm actually out of mana. I should be dead here. I definitely should be dead here. Susanna got a return kill. Kama had to ult. Yeah. Maybe he'll kill someone else. No, he's going down as well. Alright. Kama took two tower shots for no goddamn reason. Let's see if we can steal from him. Yep. 
We got the mitts. One of them at least, which is good enough for me. Left mitts are not up. Let's take the timer here. Uh, looks like it's warded. She's looking for me. Yep. Gonna put some damage on her. Susan might have a kill potential there. That's awkward. I thought the red was up, definitely. <laughs> Gonna go for it now, I guess. We're kind of um here, and they're forcing the fight in mid, which I cannot help. He does not see that I have mana. <laughs> Which is amazing in itself. I guess we're taking this lane by just our passive. I'm gonna back after that. I'm actually in trouble right now. Alright, we're far enough. Far enough now, we're gonna back. We didn't miss a single minion, which is kinda amazing, considering that we backed in the middle of the lane. This raw is lazy back in the ward. Let's try and do make some play. Mm, that burst is quite high, but it's not gonna be enough. I can't really do anything else to him. Maybe delay his back a little bit as well. Okay, time to take her ult and make a play. <laughs> that was really, really good. I bet he was not expecting that. I don't think they saw a single red this game. That's really, really good. I'm gonna lazy back straight up here and get our book of thought. Cherno just wasted his ult. We're gonna pick up this red. And go clear our wave, but we're also gonna take the safe route. I don't want to get bursted by raw. An enemy has been like yeah, Taro is looking for me there. Aw, awesome. <laughs> oh, he stole the right mids. Our sees things I don't know why I walked right into it. That was stupid. Got hit by that, alright. That was a good snipe, but we're safe. We're gonna fall back here. Chernobog ult is also down, so we're in no danger. Susan is actually doing an amazing job here. I have no eyes on Ra. I have no idea where the hell he is. Honor actually soloed the Chernobog, and apparently Ra was there with the snipe ready. Let's ward up and see if we can gank him. They're not doing gold. Aw, oh, Ra finally got his red. <laughs> I thought I can catch him, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. Hold me, I dare you. I passed the ward in invisibility. They were not able to see me there, but unfortunately I whiffed all my abilities. Gonna take up that ward. It's on the sentry. Susan is doing a fine job in the dual lane there. Chernobog is getting shit on. Honor actually wanted that rip up from me while being level 10 to level 11. Somehow he's not happy by me winning my lane so hard. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I don't know. Who would be good here? Kamazas is actually kind of strong. I'm gonna reach him. Oh, I got hit by that. That's so unfortunate. Let's maybe make a Jean Kui play. Uh, at least heal myself up a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Those snipes are getting better. I have no idea why Pele keeps splitting that camp, but I gotta take that experience as well then. There's a fight in me, we're gonna join. Let's clear the way first and then we push. Well, looks like Susanna was way out of position there. Can we make something happen? I'll have to use both relics, but we saved Neja, which isn't bad. Otto just wasted his ult. Oh, if I hit that, he would have been dead. I have no idea why Honor is here in the first place. Looks like he's about to take my red as well. Yep, I was right on that. Missed my two, and Cam is here, I'm gonna die. Well, Naja still got the return kill, but yeah. That was completely uncalled for. This fight was stupid. Gotta poke her a little bit. Actually, that's a third of her health. Oh, they have a word here, now I see. Gotta ult into someone. Those goddamn snipes are getting better and better. This guy is actually really good with hitting his ults. But we got the Chernobog ults. They're doing the gold. My team is gonna take the fire, I guess, but I'm gonna prevent them from taking gold. Or at least try to. Good call for the fire, but I'm way too far from that. Oh, I thought my damage can be enough to steal it, but it's it's still okay. I got a kill. Uh, they still got the gold here, but we got the fire. I'll take that. Um, that Susan damage is quite insane. Red just came up, I'm gonna go straight for there. Wow, that damage, holy shit. He's really low, but I cannot contest. Kama's coming my way, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, there he is. He's like super low, what the hell? <laughs> he got chased down by Susan. Not sure in the bulk. I thought he was ulting me for sure. I'm like half HP. But he decided to ult for honor. Just standing right next to his Phoenix. That's like super weird. Oh, he had a blink. Look at this man. Fortunately, we can do this. Aw, oh, come on. I keep forgetting that Naja is a support and he does not have enough damage to, like, actually burst him down. That Susano damage is not okay. I'm gonna ult him to Chernobyl and join the fight immediately. Good stuff. We got their support, but at this point, support is really, really valuable. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. That's so unfortunate that he got stunned there. Take 
Looks like there's nothing else to do but back. Can't seem to find anyone. This blue buff is even down. Kind of like, come on. We're gonna take the pyro here. I'm pretty sure they cannot contest with the left phoenix being down and judging how far behind they are. Looks like Jean Kui wants to look for some. Unfortunate. Attack fire giant. Attack fire giant. Looks like Susan is on zoning duty. Hey, there's Ryan in the left lane. This is a free fire giant. I'm gonna ult into ADC since our ADC is not doing enough damage. The gold fury is being taken, so we're gonna stop that here. Yeah, I guessed it. And we're gonna get out. That's his beats, which is not bad at all. I'm gonna cleanse the slow here, and yeah. He decided to hold in front of a Susano. <laughs> Maybe taking me with him. Good play overall. Gonna finish these off, maybe look at the purple and finish our polynomicon. I guess we'll push another wave. Sorry. Just to put pressure on the spawning Phoenix. That burst damage is now complete. We can 100 to 0 people now with the Polynome account. Let's try that. Oh, there's Jean-Kui. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm contemplating what to build, whether it's going to be a Rod or Kronos, but I'm thinking Kronos. I'm really missing that cooldown right now. We have like none. So I guess Chrono Spender will be a good pickup here. Considering the long ultimate cooldown is might be like the best pickup on the Morrigan, to be honest. Looks like we're finally getting our red buff. We successfully wasted most of our fire giant at this point, and uh considering I'm the only person that have it. I guess we're waiting for the next FG to do things. Let's at least take the gold fury, I guess. Gonna pick up our Kronos and ult as a Chernobyl back into the fight. Easy peasy. Gonna look for the right moment. I guess let's start the fun. Since my team does not want to go in. I'll waste some skills here. I'm probably gonna waste both relics to get out of that, but my team still does nothing. As soon as he lands, we're gonna kill him. Gonna fall back a little bit, and now we can join the fight. And that's gonna be game. Your team has destroyed a left enemy phoenix. Yeah, Terra is coming back in like 7. It's not gonna be enough to deter us from killing the Titan. Using my volley to ramp up that burst, and there's the game. Fortune 
Morrigan, guys, I'm telling you. This Susan, however, holy shit. He did a great job there as well. A very quick summary of this game. Me as Morrigan, I'm going into Book of Thought Rush. I'm uh, buying no blessings at the start. Go uh, finishing boots, finishing Book of Thought, going into Bancroft's uh, power spike as well. Because Morrigan does not need survivability with her in this. If you're positioning yourself correctly, you don't need a lot of HP and everything. Going to the Divine solely because uh, they have a Ra and Kama and Cherno and Jonqui and Terra. Basically, every single character on their team is healing healing a lot so divine is a perfect pick up here polynomicon is a must-have on the morrigan uh it's a great follow-up to her stun out of the invis you can explode squishies with that combo pretty easily and chronos pendant is probably the second most viable item on the morrigan because she has the longest cooldown on her ultimate in the game uh, as to actives they're pretty straightforward you go beats and ages as in every mid mage in smite ever on the country Ra is building incorrectly he has he's missing the first item so i believe it's a blessing he has ratatouille his fifth item which is incorrect his gameplay was not on point he was constantly out of position and being exploded he fed our suzano and then suzano escalated into other lanes and completely dominated this game as for susan he's building almost perfectly not sure about that shifter shield but maybe he wanted a little bit of survivability besides that the build is on point anti heal is there because five of their characters are healing a lot relics are also on point and comparing that to enemy jungler Kamazot's building tanky for some reason after his third item which i believe is not correct but it's either mage or mental but you don't build both at this point he's lacking damage and he is not tanky enough to survive through my a uh, susano damage anyway don't feel like that was a correct decision chernabog was probably the worst part of the enemy team he fed our honor quite well naja is actually having seven kills 19 kill participation out of 37 which is actually not a lot but i have just 14 myself so i guess as a mid laner i should have more but it's only because our suzano has 26 and he's basically dominating the whole game taking kills before we can even assist comparing that to our honor uh who is building some weird shit to be honest uh he have a ikaval and assi uh, which both are transition items so you should have only one of those i have no idea why you have both at this point you also should change a couple to probably can say which he already have but he does not have something else in that slot and he probably should have considering he has just as much gold as me he should have more than enough gold for that so that build is not really really good and as to solo leaners uh jean Kui looks like was not doing a very good job but he shut down that peli quite significantly she, even though she's building tanky she barely has any kills barely has any impact so this is probably why we spend 26 minutes winning this game because jean Kui's build is also quite weird to be honest <laughs> he also misses uh, missing divine rune which he definitely should have since his application of divine was one of the best in the game and looking at the supports both builds uh terra's build is on point neja i don't think that's how you build support but i don't also think that neja is a support however in this game it worked so i guess we'll take it and looking at the numbers here Susano obviously sitting on 33k, nobody is even close to him, he's like through the roof carrying this one. Close behind him surprisingly enough is Naja and me, uh, but in comparison I am out damaging the enemy Ra by just 3k which is not significant at all at this point in the game. However our Susano is almost tripling the damage of Kamazot's uh, honor, same damage as Chernobog. Solo leaners, our Peli is actually out damaged by 4k and supports, yeah, Naja has 10k on that terra obviously doing a lot not playing actually a support more like a double jungler right there and yeah probably our support and jungle were the most <laughs> valuable players in this game surprisingly enough with me being a close third so i guess we'll take it and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as always like comment and subscribe have a wonderful day i will see you in the next video